Your first alert forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. Talk about potholes with that sunshine out earlier today, and finally the road's starting to get kind of clear as the ice melts. You're re it's really clear that they're everywhere now. They really are. It is not pleasant driving around because when we're not dealing with the snow, then you finally see the potholes. Kind of missing the <laughs> snow already. Kind of evens out the road. <laughs> it does. Fills in those potholes, doesn't it? We're going to get a little snow over nice. the next couple days. Not a lot, though. Let's take a look at the uh, Fox 47 Doppler radar. A couple snow showers firing up to the west. We had one band come across. It didn't really drop much snow. No, in fact, we didn't see many flurries from that, and that's because we're so dry. There's not a lot of moisture to work with. So what snow does fall will just be those lighter flakes. What we do have to concern ourselves with, though, at this time frame, is possible freezing drizzle. So watch out for that. The reports of it already on cars and on the sidewalks. So it could be a little slick. You might have to check some of that off tomorrow morning. But the good thing is the temperatures will remain rather dry and, or excuse me, mild for the overnight. Take a look at some of these temperatures from today. High temperature of 30. 31 degrees in Lansing, 31 also in Charlotte, and Mason, 30 in Jackson. These are warm temperatures compared to what we've seen. Man, earlier in the week, we did not start off this warm. Remember, we were in the teens. We made some big progress since then. And local temperatures have not fallen much since then. 25 in Lansing, 24 in Jackson, 20 in Ann Arbor and Adrian. Uh, we're going to see these stay in the 20s for the overnight. So a lot better than the teens and single digits, even negatives that we've seen earlier on this week. Wind speeds have picked up. So wind chills are a little bit cooler. But man, even with these uh, winds, we're still seeing wind chills in the uh, teens and low 20s. Wind speeds are going to be strong for tomorrow as well. 10 to 15, maybe even gusting up to 20 at times. But hey, 27 for the high, so not a bad day at all. It'll feel like it's in the mid to lower 20s. Look at this. I want to show you this temperature trend over the next seven days. We've got a cold uh, weekend, low 20s for Saturday and Sunday. Look at Monday, though. We're back to similar temperatures to today. Tuesday, we're starting to really take off. And then th Wednesday and Thursday in the 40s and upper 40s. And you know what that comes with, a big meltdown. So we're going to be concerned with that over the next week. But it's finally nice to see those warmer temperatures coming in. Now the next 48 hours will be cooler, but we'll see chances of snow. Not a lot of snow coming in our near future. We'll see a couple lake effect snow showers. Looks like tomorrow morning is going to be dry. And then once the wind shifts more to the west and northwest, we'll start to see a couple of those lake effect showers coming on in. If you're driving tomorrow night, maybe going out to a restaurant to eat for Valentine's Day, it does look like it's going to be uh, a non messy commute, so you should be fine for that. Saturday morning, starting off with sunshine, and we'll see sunshine for at least the first half of the day. More clouds taking over toward the end of the evening, and then another system coming in that'll drop just a little snow for Saturday night into Sunday. I want to show you the snowfall totals, though, for this overnight. We're not going to see a lot. This is just going to give us a couple tenths of an inch. That's about a coating equivalent for some of us. We may see up to half an inch in Ithaca, but that's going to be a stretch. Uh, we're really not going to see much from this snowfall. Overnight forecast, couple light snowflakes, freezing drizzle is possible in areas too. 20 degrees for the low. Tomorrow we're getting up to 27 degrees. Stella is our 1 800 Hanson weather kid for tonight. Only a month old from Okemos. Hopefully she's enjoying this winter. It's about to get good because we're going to see those warmer temperatures coming on in. Now, over the weekend, a little cooler, but next week is when the exciting weather comes, the warmer temperatures, but also notice the rain showers that are in there. Monday we could see a mix of rain and snow, and then by the the time we get to Thursday, it looks like just all rain. So flooding is going to be a concern. Now is the time you want to take a look at your basement and say, okay, where does this normally flood every year? Do I have anything that's going to get damaged if it does flood? So take care of those issues because it looks like next week all the snow is going to melt and then we're going to have some more issues. Try clear the gutters and the drains. That yes. way the snow has somewhere to go as it melts. Sounds good. Awesome. Thanks, Laura. Yeah. We'll take a quick break. Stay with us. More news right after this.